Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As the title says, this is going to be a review and swatches of this Mino Kiss Proof. So if you want to know how this lipstick wears, please keep on watching. I am so sorry if I've been MIA for almost two months. No, I think it's more than two months. Yeah, it's more than two months because my last video was about Valentine's Pa. Because I'm just really having a hard time to study, especially kapag finals, and at the same time making videos. That's why I decided to give up na this muna and focus more on my studies. But since it's vacation, I am so back. Hopefully. Kaya naman, without any further ado, let's go ahead on my impressions on these lipsticks. So, it comes with a box and dun sa box niya, it says there that it is a liquid lipstick but it's not a liquid lipstick at all. Diba, hindi siya liquid lipstick and when you open the box, you will see a mini brochure there and it says there naman that it is a long-lasting lip gloss but it is definitely not a lip gloss it's matte so paano siya magiging lip gloss diba kaya medyo confusing this lipstick was made in china and it contains um 4.2 grams of the product by the way I forgot to mention dun din pala sa box niya nakalagay din yung um manufacturing and expiring date niya. So, 
sa akin it will expire or it was made this year and it will expire in 2019. So 3 years yung lifetime ng lipstick na to. So this is what the packaging looks like. And dun pala sa top part ng box nakalagay yung shade niya in numbers. The lipstick itself has a simple packaging and dun sa gilid niya may nakalagay din kung ano yung shade niya. It also comes with a lid and I must say na saktong sakto talaga yung takip niya for the lipstick. Cause it's so secure kaya I wouldn't mind na matanggal-tanggal lang siya ng basta-basta. Every time it's in my bag, the lid won't go everywhere. At first, akala ko na twist siya but... Then I realized that you must use a sharpener to be able to use the rest of the product. And an ordinary sharpener will do. Before I forgot, I fade in pala yung mga nakasulat niya dito. That's why I think it's much better na after you use this, you must keep it in the box para if ever na totally na mag-fade na yung mga nakasulat sa kanya, you would still know kung ano yung shade niya. Now let's check the scent. Actually, I can't smell anything. Pero if ever naman na may smell to, um, it's not bothering naman for me. Kasi hindi naman ako ganun ka picky when it comes to smell. So once you've swatched this lipstick at the back of your hand, what you will see here is what you will get. But some of the shades here, I iba yung kulay nila once you've swatched it and once you really applied it on your lips. Though hindi naman ganun kalayo yung kulay nila, pero may, mapapansin mo talaga na merong iba or may difference talaga sa kanilang dalawa. Then on application, for me it's not as soft as what it claims kasi sabi dito it is a soft lipstick. Pero hindi naman siya yung sobrang 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 dry, pero medyo dry siya. Kaya hindi siya ganun kadaling i-apply sa lips. Then kapag ka-apply mo pa lang ng lipstick na to and kapag gumanito ka, um, medyo magdidikit-dikit siya. That's why you need to wait for like 30 seconds to 1 minute for it to set. Color intensity. May mga ibang shades dito na it's really pigmented. Y yun yung mga darker shades. Pero yung mga light shades, hindi sila ganun ka-pigmented. Pero okay lang din naman. This lipstick is not lightweight. Mafe-feel mo pa rin na meron ka talagang nakalagay sa lips mo. But for me, it's not bothering at all. Um, medyo comfortable pa rin naman ako. Once na yung um, lips mo e dry, talagang patchy siya tignan. Parang yung itsura is, parang medyo nagka-crack siya sa lips mo. And nagbubuo-buo rin tong lipstick na to kapag dry yung lips mo. That's why it is a must to moisturize your lips first before you apply this. Um... Any kind of lip balm will do. Kasi pag hindi, talagang um, nagka-crack siya and it really enhances your lip lines. Then kapag nagbabalat-balat din yung lips nyo, you should exfoliate first before you apply this um, by scrubbing it with just a toothbrush. Then yung longevity niya, for me, it is not that long-lasting. It will really stay on your lips the whole day. Of course, kung hindi mo siya gagalawin. Pero, just as long as you don't eat anything that is greasy, magtatagal pa rin yung kulay niya. Kapag umiinom ka naman, medyo maapektuhan ng konti. Um, especially din sa inner part, expect yun na na mag-fade talaga siya. But if you really eat anything that is oily, expect yun na that it will really come off. Then, for the last test, let's check if it's really kiss-proof. Yep, it is. By the way, yung favorite shade ko pala dito among 17 shades I have here is yung shade number 6. And that's what I have right now. So for my overall verdict, I would say na for only 150 pesos, this lipstick is a go. Though may mga negative sides siya, like yung longevity niya and yung dry formula niya. I wouldn't mind to reapply this because it's really cheap, it's really affordable, and it's really kiss-proof and smudge-proof. 
By the way, I would like to suggest na if you really wanna try this lipstick, don't forget to exfoliate your lips first. Scrubbing your lips using just a toothbrush will do. As long as you get rid of the crack or um, the peeling kind of lips. And the second, don't forget to moisturize your lips. Applying any kind of lip balm will do. So that's it for the review. If you find this video helpful, feel free to give this a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you again on my next video. Bye!